So a lot of people have the RAV4 Prime with a nine inch touchscreen, and they've been looking for a way to put a protector on here since this plastic screen gets scratched up pretty easily. So there weren't very many options online, but I did find one that's actually made for the Camry. It's called the Car Navigation Glass Screen Pro Pro Tem Premium Tempered from Amazon. It was about $15 on Cyber Monday. And uh, I'm just gonna see how it fits here. Just gonna knobs, you just give them a little tug and they pop right off. So this is made out of glass, just like the iPhone screen protectors. And it looks like it fits perfectly. So just gonna clean off the glass, get the uh, all the dust off of it, and then peel and stick. So it comes with some alcohol wipes in the package, but I think you really wanna make sure that you get in between the, the buttons because I know a lot of finger grease can accumulate in there. And that's gonna prevent the screen from adhering nicely. I wish they had made the screen of a real glass instead of plastic. My car is only about a year old and it already has some scratches. I barely even use the screen, so I'm gonna see if this helps. So now that the alcohol is done, I'm just gonna wipe down the screen with this microfiber cloth that they included, get all the lint and dust off. And then the last step will be using the adhesive piece of tape and then just removing any last particles. You wanna make sure you do this in a bright area so that way you can see all the little specks like this because if they get trapped, it's gonna look bad and make a bubble. So with this blue tape, you're just going to go around and make sure you collect all the pieces of dust. I'm actually putting on some gloves because I don't wanna put any oil on the screen after I've cleaned it with alcohol prep. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with where the glass is sitting around the buttons, so we're gonna go ahead and let go, and then gonna work the, the bubbles out of it. I hope this can lay flat. You want to push from the inside out and push the bubbles outwards rather than trap them underneath the glass. So if you have bubbles underneath that you're not happy about, you can slide something really thin and clean underneath it and then just kind of work it up into it. So that way you can push the panel, the glass panel, in a way that's not going to trap any bubbles and it will sit a lot better. So the screen protector doesn't seem to affect the movement of the screen or the touch sensitivity. It's all about the same, which is good. Um, there's still a little bit of a border of the bubble, and I, the reason is because the actual display here sits ever so slightly below the the rim of it, but uh, it's not too bad. It does pick up some fingerprints more than the matte screen that it had before does, but at least you can wipe it off without worrying that you're going to scratch it up. So overall, I think it's pretty good screen protector, and it fits perfectly. The the button cutouts and the overall shape of it is identical to what the existing unit has, so that's it.